This is Patrick, the designer for Geochron Digital, and I'm going to show you my four favorite improvements between version 1 and version 2 of the Geochron Digital in 4K, which features completely rewritten software. Number one, performance. You'll notice that I'm keying around inside the Geochron Digital, and it's three or four times faster than I would on version 1. Number two, satellite weather. This is what people were asking for with temperatures, wind speed, precipitation, barometric pressure, and cloud cover, and or some combination thereof. Each of these layers can be set at zero to 100% strength above the base map. To show you how this works, I'm gonna use a topographical map set, Earth at night, and the population gradient. Let's see what's going on in the atmosphere above the topography of the Earth. I'll start with precipitation at 100%, then cloud cover at 20%, and I've already got this set up, so I'll just flip the switch. Ho, ho, ho. And we can see that it's really raining in South Africa and New Zealand. Now, removing precipitation, here's live temperature with a scale on the side. Red is hot. Blue is cold, and this is why people want to live close to the ocean on the Arabian Peninsula. So how does Geochron know what the weather is doing in China? Well, this is transmitted from satellites that are 500 to 900 miles above the Earth, covering any given area every three hours or so, and here they are, in their real-time position. All the other satellites in orbit are available also in other categories, except for the secret ones. I'm also going to throw in the International Space Station and the Hubble Space Telescope. And notice that I've added the altitude, height, and trail of each satellite shown. Like this one, which is going to be over where I am in Portland, Oregon, in about three minutes, traveling at five miles per second at 530 miles above the Earth. All the other layers are there too, like air traffic, shipping lanes, air pollution, on multiple map sets, and it can be quite overwhelming, which is why we included a rotating demo mode to cycle through the layers. Number three, stability. Not only is version two much faster, but it won't fall asleep if you switch HDMI ports. It'll be ticking all along, waiting for you to come back. See, it came back. Version one didn't always do that. The mouse that we had to include in version 1 has disappeared in version 2. Everything can be handled via the remote, and now the Wi-Fi and internet connections are all managed through the main menu. The software has just been totally overhauled and optimized for our computer, so we're going to have lots of room for new layers as time goes on, like amateur radio data, flight and asset tracking, more atmospheric and terrestrial vents like lightning and earthquakes. Number 4, help. We've added a new tab with video instructions that explain what each tab does, done by yours truly. The Layers tab adjusts the static layers. We're bringing the world a little closer together through Geochron. So check out the newest features at geochron.com. And if you have version 1, learn how to easily get Geochron Digital version 2 at geochron.com.